What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Jessica's Ratchet Prison Cooking Show. We definitely need like a little song or like an intro for this. So for today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make prison coffee three different ways. And look what I have. Now, if you're not a felon, this means absolutely nothing to you, but this is the exact coffee that you could buy on commissary in prison. Now, there are Folgers Instant Coffee and there are other brands, but like Keefe Coffee is the coffee to have in prison. If you had a few bags of this, you were balling out of control. So um, I have not drank this since I left prison and we're gonna see just how good these are because I'm gonna be trying them for the first time on camera with you guys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. zoom y'all out. Ooh, is that too far? <sighs> let's hope not. Okay, so let's do it the, the way that I used to do it. Get out of frame. Get out of the frame. <gasps> okay, so the way that I used to do it, this should be dry. It's dry down my pants. So the way that I used to do it is I would actually take hot chocolate This was the jam, I bet it tastes like crap. <laughs> um, hot chocolate, dry creamer, and sugar. So, I'm excited. Yep, smells like prison. <laughs> just kidding, it smells really good. Oh my God, just smelling it takes me back. Like, not to a good place, cause it's prison, but dang, you guys like, if this is not a testament to how far I've come in life, like I'm not drinking this anymore. Um, not to make things too serious because this is Jessica's Ratchet Prison Cooking Show, but I was just one mistake away from spending the rest of my life drinking Keefe coffee. So I'm always humbled by that realization. I'm always humbled by the fact that I am free and I'm, I'm home and I have a family and I'm so blessed. So, you know, that's just what I'm thinking right now. God, it, it smells strong and it is Colombian coffee. So I would take two scoops, pretty, pretty level scoops, just to get in my hot water here. Hot water that I got from the hot water spigot or from the shower. Um, most facilities have microwaves. Um, not, not any facilities I was, I was at because there was always problems. So I like my coffee with two sugars. I'm so nervous that this is gonna taste horrible, but I love this recipe. Okay, and then a cream. I'm so nervous. I don't know why I'm nervous. If it sucks, it sucks, like whatever. One cream and then hot chocolate. All of this you buy on commissary. But about a half a hot chocolate. And you stir it all up. Now it took me so long to set this up that I'm sure my boiling hot water is now shower warm. <laughs> okay. <I'm> so nervous. <laughs> okay. You ready for the taste test? I'm not. I'm so scared. Oh. Okay. You know, it's not bad. I would maybe tone it down a little bit with the scoops of coffee. Maybe like one and a half scoops would be enough. That's not bad. I thought it was gonna be way worse than it is because I'm like completely spoiled now with my Dunkin' Donuts K-Pods and French vanilla creamer. I recycle the K-Pods, relax. That's really not bad. Oh my God. I can see why I drink this all day every day. And the water's still hot, so we're gonna set you aside. So that is recipe number one for prison coffee. It's not too bad, especially with the hot cocoa, so it's just sweet enough, but not too sweet, so. Okay, recipe number two, are y'all ready for this? Fireball coffee. All right, let's get it. So we're gonna take the hot water. Fireballs are a candy. Atomic Fireball. It's a cinnamon 
cinnamon flavored candy. Show you all that real quick. For people that don't know what fireballs are, but we're gonna take about three fireballs and we're gonna stick them in there with the hot water so the hot water can start melting them down. Now people in prison would mix all kinds of things with their coffee, all kinds of candies and, oh, some are like two packs and some are single packs, that's weird. It smells super good. Cinnamon Dolce Latte. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take four of them. If I can open them, I'm like the worst at opening stuff. God, get your life together. <laughs> okay, so. I'm gonna use the same ratchet spoon. Oh my God, you guys, I totally like blacked this out of my brain. Okay, so we could buy cups and bowls on commissary and they were like these like, not yellow, but not white, like these cream colored cups and they would be so stained from coffee. Same with the, the little white plastic spoons that we had, they would just be <laughs> stained with coffee. My cups were not stained because I washed my cup after every use, but some people would not wash them because they thought it had more flavor <laughs> if they didn't wash their cup. Like why? Stop it, stop it. Okay, so I'm not really sure if y'all can see. The water is now red because the fireball has been melting in there. So I think two scoops is a little bit too strong. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do one and like a half, like, God, it smells like prison. I just can't get over that. I know I've already said it, but geez. Oh, that takes me back to a dark, dark place. Okay, so I don't wanna put my sugar, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna dump a little bit of sugar in here since that spoon is like filthy. I'm gonna do like, that was a lot of sugar, but we in jail today. Okay, and then a little bit of the creamer. I like creamer if y'all can't tell already. Big fan. Oh, you guys have asked me if you could buy tea on commissary. I wanna say yes, but part of me, I wanna say yes, but I'm unsure because I'm not a tea drinker. But I feel like I have seen people drinking tea in prison. I'm, I'm almost positive that yes, you can buy tea in prison. So it looks like blood. <laughs> Tell me this does not look like blood. I'm sorry if this grosses anybody out. But I just have to show you like the color of it. I'm almost afraid to drink it. Ugh. Okay, here we go, here we go. You know, it doesn't suck. <laughs> it sounds like it would be the most disgusting coffee you've ever had in your life, but it's actually not that bad. If you like cinnamon and you like instant coffee, then you are gonna love Fireball coffee. <laughs> this is not sponsored by Fireball. That sounds so insane, I know. Okay, so I'm a coffee drinker and this freaking Colombian coffee is strong as hell. I've only taken a few sips and like my heart is pounding. God, and I'm sweating. Woo, baby. <laughs> That is strong. Okay, so we're gonna set that aside and we're gonna make the third cup of coffee. Now, let me just tell you this right now. You might call this TikTok coffee, but I promise you an inmate came up with this. Not me, I can't take credit for it. Um, but this coffee is called Whipped Coffee. It is a trend all over TikTok right now and someone stole that from a prisoner. I guarantee you. <laughs> so we're gonna make that today. I've been in one facility where we had an ice machine. And then I got kicked out of that facility. Anyway, okay, so we're gonna take our coffee. Now, in prison we didn't measure anything. We don't have measuring cups, so I'm just gonna eyeball this. Put a little bit of sugar in there. Coffee, sugar. Now I'm gonna pour a little bit of hot water in there. Okay. And now 
I'm going to whisk this until my arm feels like it's about to fall off. Okay, so it's pretty, it's pretty thick now. Um, if I was like a professional YouTuber, I would have got one of those hand whisks, like electric ones, and I wouldn't have spent the past 20 minutes whisking freaking coffee, but where's the fun in that? So we got our ice. If you were at a facility that did not have ice or you couldn't like steal some ice, then you would skip this step. But we're gonna take our milk that we stole from the chow hall. And we're gonna put our coffee over the top. Definitely should have added more ice, but whatever, we're working with it, we're working with it. Scrape all that goodness out of there. Ew, look, it looks like poop. It's so fire. Ooh, it's so good, you guys. They're doing like a little happy birthday parade for my neighbor. <laughs> How cute is that? So there you have prison coffee three ways. All right, you guys, I really hope you enjoyed this laid back prison coffee three different ways. If you wanna see more videos like this, be sure to smash the thumbs up button so that I know that you like these kinds of videos. And I will continue to do Jessica's Ratchet Prison Cooking Show for as long as you guys wanna see them. As always, I love you guys. Stay safe, stay sober. Do not break the law. Y'all can make this in the free world. <laughs> Bye, you guys. Bye.